Hey, what's up YouTube? Scott, Scotty Tradition, back with another video. Um, I promised you earlier in the week I'd do a top 50 video, and finally got a little bit of time this evening, so we're going to go through my top 50 sports cards. Um, that includes football, basketball, or basketball. That's a great movie, by the way. Uh, but football, baseball, and basketball. Um, some raw cards, most are graded, and... With each card, um, I am going to talk about the value, um, if for no other reason than just to kind of, I guess, just educate those who might not know the value of certain cards, you know, in a certain grade. Um, I know if you're not familiar with that, you can pretty much have no idea um, if you don't follow that kind of thing. So, um, so we're going to kind of go through value as well as I kind of go through the cards, and hopefully that'll give you guys a better understanding of, you know, what certain key cards go for in certain grades. Um, and this is not what I paid for the card. This is just what the value is now. You know, I spent uh, quite a bit of time going through everything and um, got a pretty good idea based on auctions, recent auctions and uh, eye appeal and certain things like that um, on what the cards would go for if I were to uh, try to move them today. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna do the top 50. Um, now, there are three honorable mentions. I'm going to kind of show, go through these with you first. Um, here's one of them. Picked up this card at the National. Um, for those of you who saw me there, um, Bobby Jones, 33 Sport Kings Golf. Just a beautiful example of the card. Love the 33 Sport Kings set. And, um, you know, you can pick up th this card like this with this grade, uh, considering the eye appeal. Um, I put a value on it about $450. Um, so the, the first cards I'm going to go through are kind of going to be, I have a lot of cards kind of bunched up in that range, so that's honorable mention number one. Honorable mention number two is the uh, Walter Payton rookie. I have that in a grade of an eight. Um, typically goes in that 450 range. These have actually climbed a fair amount since I bought this one. A few years back, I think I might have paid 250 or something for this card, and now it kind of goes in that 450 range. This one has pretty nice eye appeal, I think, for the grade great looking card see even as a Packers fan I can have a Bears card in my collection right and these are just gonna fall down all day so I'm just gonna pile them up over there uh, and my third honorable mention here um, is the um, Bob Euchre rookie card you can see him there in the lower right hand corner obviously the announcer in Major League Harry Doyle and also for my Milwaukee Brewers been the announcer there for several years and this is in the grade of an eight this card typically goes in that 475 range. And picked this one up quite a, f right when I first got back into collecting, I, kind of, I picked this card up. So just a beautiful example of the card. This is the Rookie Parade Catcher's card from 62 Tops. Um, definitely a tough issue with the brown vinyl corners and edges going on. So those are my three honorable mentions. So let's get into the top 50 right away. So number 50 on the list. It's a raw card. It's the uh, Bart Star, one of my favorite sets of all time, 2003 Fabric of the Game. And you can see the number 15 there. Um, these are numbered out of 15 as well. That one's numbered 8 out of 15. I love these, this set because it shows the jersey they were on, that they got the patches from. And, and you can almost see, this is almost a little bit of a dirty patch. You can kind of see a little off-white off color in there. So just a huge fan of this Fabric of the Game set. And this card comes in at number 50, kind of in that 475 range as well, but could command a premium being with the off-white kind of dirty jersey as well. So um, definitely a cool auto, patch auto of Star. Of course, all actual game used material used in that product. Um, and let's go to number 49 on the list. Got the uh, 57 Tops Frank Robinson rookie card. In the grade of a seven, um, just a nice example of the card right there. And uh, Frank Robinson uh, rookie card. With this type of eye appeal, you can probably get it, you know, in that five hundred dollar range. That's kind of where I estimate it would roughly be. All these are give and take a little bit, of course, but like I said, I have a bunch of cards kind of bunched up in this area. Uh, moving down the list, number forty-eight would be. A card I just got in recently, the uh, JJ Watt Future Watch card, 
beautiful example of the card. 9, 5, 10. Only numbered to 35, so uh, it's my favorite on-card auto of J.J. Watt, the three-time NFL Defensive Player of the Year. And this card goes, you know, anywhere in that $500 range, I think is a good estimate for it. So, number 48 on the list. 47 on the list. Another card I just got in. The 33 Sport King Gum Jim Thorpe. Uh, only graded a 1.5 because you can see that little bit of paper loss in the front and there's a slight vertical uh, wrinkle there and a little bit of paper loss on the back but just a gorgeous card this is this card will always command uh, command demand if, the, if that's uh, I could say that um, so this card I'd put a $500 with a plus sign on it so anywhere in that range would be kind of fair for this card I think just a gorgeous example there um, and then moving down the list um, let's see here. Let's see, 50, 49, 48, 47. Let's go to number 46. The very tough 71 top set, prone to chipping and edge wear. You can see a little bit on the corners there. But this is a fairly nice centered example. It has a really nice surface uh, in the grade of a 7. This is the Terry Bradshaw rookie card. And um, bought this one for about three three fifty, I want to say. A few years back, but this is already up in that $500 range as well uh, with this type grade and eye appeal. So nice, nice card there for sure. Uh, number 45 on the list. The 55 Tops All-American Jim Thorpe. Absolutely love this card. I remember I got it about a year or so ago on an eBay Bucks deal. And um, you can get this one it's kind of in that $500 range again. Just an awesome set, this 55 Tops All-American set. Alright, next on the list, uh, 44. The uh, 98 SP Authentic Charles Woodson rookie card. Um, picked up this card. I remember I picked it up the, like the, the month before he retired and got it fairly cheap in a couple hundred dollar range. Uh, now this card goes for $500.00 or so. Um, it's actually gone for 600 and more um, last year, so but right now it's kind of hovering in that $500 range. Always a tough tough set, the 98 SP Authentic. It's the Charles Woodson rookie card. Moving up on the list, number 43, the T206 Piedmont Trist Speaker. Um, this was a card I got at the National, if you saw me there, so I was really excited to get this one. Um, this card, uh, with this type centering and color, it's going to be in that $500 range. Just a nice example of the card in my opinion. So as you can see, i got a bunch of cards kind of in that, that's kind of my hot zone there, $450 to $600. <laughs> that's kind of the area I like to be for cards. Here is a uh, 57 Tops Johnny Unitas card, rookie card, and... This is, in the, again, in that $500 range for the grade of a 6. Uh, surface is okay. You can see a little bit of snow on there. That's so common for these cards. Centering, not terrible. A little off-center, but not terrible. Uh, I felt a good example for the 6. And I remember I picked this up during an eBay Bucks deal as well. So, 57 tops, Johnny Unite is kind of in that $500 range as well. And let's find another $500 range card. The uh, 2013 Prism Giannis rookie card. Obviously, this card has shot up tremendously in the last year or two. Um, I want to say I picked this card up about two or three years ago for like uh, probably like 30 bucks, and right now, in the grade of a 10, goes for about 500. So amazing how these have shot up. But the guy is an absolute stud. So there's the Giannis rookie card in that $500 range. Uh, moving down the list here to number 40. We got the uh, Packers quad patch here, and this card here, it's raw, it's numbered uh, one or two from kind of a cool product, Legendary Monuments, uh, Panini Legendary Monuments, so, um, and this is really the only example of a card that I see Bart Starr, Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers, and Reggie White's uh, material on, so to speak, so one of two, this is kind of, these are like prime material type patches, so. Um, picked this up pretty cheap actually. I, I couldn't hit buy it now fast enough when it came out, but I would definitely put the value on this in that $500 plus range. I think somebody had one on eBay. The, this was they had the other one of this one, uh, and they were kind of 
uh, showcasing it for like $1,800 or best offer or something like that. So I would definitely put it in the 500 plus range. Just a beautiful card, but price kind of unknown on it. All right, let's start getting into the 30s here. Number 39 on the list. The 1954 Tops Al Kaline rookie card. Love the eye appeal on this one. Just that deep red. Just a gorgeous looking card. Um, put this kind of in that 500 plus range as well. Just like the quad patch. You know, they in a five, decent centered five, they go for 500. But this is like one of the best fives I've, I've seen. Just with that centering and eye appeal. Just gorgeous. So who knows what it could go for. It could go for more than 500. Uh, moving along, uh, we have the uh, 69 Tops Lou L. Sindor rookie card. This goes to my all-time buck set. Um, prices on this one are kind of in that five to $600 range. Not really sure where. It just depends on the day, it seems like, with these. But this is a pretty nice centered example of the card. Got a little red splooch there or something. I'm not sure what that is, like a print defect or something. But other than that, the card's centered and in great shape. So I put this in that five to $600 range. Just kind of depends on the day. We'll set him up and back there, just, just like that. Um, let's see here, moving along. Let's see, that was, we're gonna go with the uh, number 38 on the list. The 59 tops. At, uh, Bob Gibson rookie card and this one is a pretty nicely centered version of the card no glaring print defects or anything like that the infamous Pepto-Bismol card um, I value this kind of in the $600 range based on the centering and eye appeal and all that good stuff beautiful card All right, moving along, got the uh, 93 SP Derek Jeter rookie card, and this card's one definitely one that's shot up in value over the last, I'd say, the last few months. Um, when I picked this up, I picked it up for that $300 range. Right now, they're kind of selling in that $600 range. Um, even just a month ago or more, they were kind of up to like seven or 800, I believe. So, um, have this card in the grade of an eight. And, um, yeah, $600 range. Um, this card is number, uh, I believe, 37 on the list. So I'm just going to put the video on pause for a while. Hold on one second. All right, back. Just had to pause for a second to see where I was at with my numbers here. So anyways, here we go. Number 35 on the list, the 1961 Tops Jim Taylor. Um, some Packer fans consider this his rookie card, even though his rookie card is from 59, but that, that card shows a, a different player on it, um, due to an error. So, uh, this card right here, uh, kind of goes in that $600 range. Uh, there are none graded higher. Um, I believe this is like Pop 8 or something like that. So, beautiful card there, number 34 on the list. The 1952 Bowman Small Fred Cohn. Uh, this card's only pop three, none graded higher. Uh, you can kind of put this one in that $600 range as well. Just a beautiful card. All right, number 33, another card I just got in. This is the uh, 33 Sport Kings Red Grange. Uh, this card here, I would put kind of in that $600 range in this condition with this eye appeal. Beautiful example there. And number, let's see, number 33 on the list. The 1981 Tops Joe Montana rookie card. I have this one in the grade of a 9. And again, it's kind of around that $600 range. Just a beautiful looking card there. Number 32 on the list. You're thinking, why is Carol Dale number 32 on the list? <laughs> well, Carol Dale is, uh, th this card here is pop four, none graded higher, so it's all in the condition it's in. Um, again, this is kind of in that $600 range as well. 
could be even a little more could be a little less depending on who's all going for it if I if it was put up for auction but it's kind of around that range just a beautiful example of a card 1968 tops of course the Packers and the Raiders from this year are the only teams that have the horizontal cards because they were in the Super Bowl the year prior uh, this is kind of commemorating that all the other cards are vertical And number 31, the uh, 1961 Fleer Oscar Robertson rookie card. I just love this card. One of my favorite cards. Just nicely centered, example, nothing special. Just good eye appeal, nice centering. Uh, this one's graded a 6. Again, going to be in that $600 range for this particular grade. So, one of my favorite all-time looking cards. Man, I just like that 61 Fleer set for basketball. And um, here we go. Actually, I think that was number 30. Here we're going to go number 29 on the list. The 55 Bowman Jim Ringo uh, rookie card. Uh, this is a big Packer, big time Packers rookie. Uh, severely condition, condition sensitive set. I think there are only four graded higher than this one. And I think two are 8.5s and two are 9s. There are no 10s graded for this particular issue. And uh, this particular card here. Uh, I'm going to kind of put in that $750 range. Just an extremely tough Packers rookie card. 55 Bowman. Jim Ringo rookie card. And let's see here. Go number 28 on the list now. Card I picked up earlier this year. The 34 Gaudi Hank Greenberg rookie card in the grade of a 4. Uh, pretty nice eye appeal for the grade. Centering is a little bit off. Uh, a couple little scuffs on the front here, right there, and in the blue. Um, but overall the image is pretty crisp and really just like the example of this card and one of the er one of the earliest baseball cards I own now I think I own three or four pre pre-war cards and this is one of them so the 34 Gaudi Hank Greenberg rookie card on the list and let's see here let's go number 28 I believe we're at now this is the uh, 63 tops Willie Wood rookie card just love the eye appeal on this card just super sharp registration and color. Just beautiful. Um, I remember specifically picking this up at a uh, Heritage auction. One of the f earlier cards I picked up in high grade, actually. Um, you can get this for around the $750 range. Uh, this is one I actually think I paid up a little more for. I think I got it in that $900 range, or at least $850. And, um, but you never know, prices can fluctuate a little bit within that when you're talking about these really high grade cards. So, but I'd put a value on it about 750 bucks. And number 27 on the list, the 61 Tops Boy Dowler rookie card. Uh, a big time receiver for the Packers, you know, probably Bart Starr's favorite wide receiver in the 60s. Um, just doesn't quite get the notoriety. There are a few receivers in those 50s and 60s that kind of go unknown from the Packers, but Boy Dowler is definitely one of the best just a crisp example of his rookie card this is kind of in that pop six or eight range uh, with none graded higher and just another mid nine example I got it from the same seller actually that I picked up the uh, Jim Taylor from that I showed earlier and um, yeah like I said this card kind of in that eight hundred dollar range the boy dollar rookie card beautiful card there and um, next on the list, the 05 Topps Chrome Aaron Rodgers rookie card. Um, again, I plan to put this in that $800 range as well. Just a gorgeous example of the card. Uh, centering is a huge issue for these 05 Chromes. And this one has pretty good centering. And uh, in PSA 10, these go for about 800 bucks. So got the Aaron Rodgers rookie card. And let's go to number 24 on the list. The 57 Tops Brooks Robinson rookie card. Uh, this is one of the first higher end cards I got when I first got it, started getting back into baseball, actually. And this is Nearman 7. Um, this card in this grade, you can probably get in the $850 range. Pretty crisp looking example of the card, just off center slightly left to right. But happy to own that one. Number 23 on the list. The 54 Tops Ernie Banks rookie card. And this card here, it's going to kind of be in that eight, uh, 850 range as well, kind of like the Brooks Robinson. Uh, nicely centered right to left. Beautiful. Maybe a little 
off center top to bottom you can see that Ernie Banks comes pretty close to the top there but just a really nice example of the card was happy to grab this one grab this from the same seller that I got the Al K line from or that I showed earlier again kind of put it in that $850 range number 22 on the list this is a uh, Gold Wave Refractor. It's a modern card. Graded BGS 9.5 with a 10 auto of Keston Hira, Brewer Slugger. Um, don't remember what I paid for this card. I think it was in the 650 range, maybe something like that. Um, right now, I, you know, kind of put it in that 850 range. It has gone up a little bit. The guy is uh, turning out to be a pretty good hitter. These are numbered out of 50, so I'm kind of on the wild ride with this card, and we'll see what happens as time goes. But either way, beautiful looking card there. Have that 850 range again. And number 21 on the list. It's a raw card. Uh, another one from one of my favorite sets of all time, the 03 fabric of the game. This is a Reggie White auto. Three color patch is the main thing here. Single patches will command a little less. Double patches a little more. But if you get one with a triple three color patch, uh, these are numbered out of 92, I believe. Yep. Again, shows the jersey on the back that you got it from. But what a beautiful card there. It's a wonderful looking card. And um, got this from a friend of mine. Um, you can probably put this in that $900 range. Um, they've come back to earth a little bit. I think I paid about 1000 for it at the time. Or at least, I'm trying to remember if I paid. Yeah, I think I paid about 1000 for it. But I think I'd get 900 for it if I sold it today. So, beautiful example of the card there. And now we're kind of getting into the top 20 here. So let's let's just go for it here. Number 20. The 63 Tops Ray Nitschke rookie card. And just love the look of this card. One of my favorite rookie cards for the Vintage Packers. Graded an 8.5. Uh, have never been any 10s graded. There have been a handful of 9s graded. Um, I think there is a, you know, like 8, 9, 10, nines out there. This is graded an 8.5. It looks great. Um, centering is a big deal on these 63 tops cards. Um, you can probably pick up one of these in that $900 range. So, just a beautiful example there. Let's go to number 19 on the list. The 75 tops Robin Yount rookie. Beautiful card there. I remember specifically getting, picking this one up on an eBay Bucks deal. And, you know, again, kind of in that $900 range. And... Look at that. Just beautiful surface, no print defects. Just a nice example of the card, in my opinion. Uh, number 20, uh, number, sorry, number, let's see where are we at here. This would be number 18 on the list. Here's the uh, true Jim Taylor rookie card, the 59 tops, graded a 9. There is none graded higher, so this is one of the higher, great, highest graded examples. However, there are still 25 or 30 of these graded at 9, I think so. Um, they are out there a little bit, but there certainly has never been any 10s graded. Just a nice example of the card there. And uh, that Jim Taylor card, you can probably get kind of in that $950 range, just to give you an example. And here's another vintage Packer rookie. That's going to be a pretty big theme as we get into these higher dollar cards. Here's a 55 tops. All-American Don Hudson. Just a beautiful example of the card there. One of my favorite cards again. Rookie cards for the Packers. Um, pick up these in the $1,000 range. Um, this has got an old label on it, so I've always considered possibly sending this in to see if it would bump up to an 8.5. Um, pretty sharp all around. No print defects on it. Old label again. Just a nice example of the card. Jim Taylor rookie card. Again, kind of in that $1,000 range is where I'd put it. Uh, number 16 on the list, another Packers rookie. Just passed away recently. The 60 Tops Forrest Gregg rookie card in the grade of a 9. And um, this particular card, you can probably get in that, well, what did I write down here? I want to say 1200 Yep, $1,200 range or so. Um, I paid a little bit more for it, I think, a couple years ago. It's kind of during that price, pr little pricing spike, so... There's a few cards that I purchased within that. But this is just such a cool example of the card. Again, Forrest Gregg rookie card, probably in that $1,200 range. Uh, moving up here, uh, number 15 on the list. This is the 84 Tops USFL Reggie White rookie, and it's autographed. 
Um, I think there's only two? No, I think it's pop three, one graded higher, if I remember right, uh, with as far as the auto grade goes. Usually I'm not a huge auto collector, but this one I had to have. You just never see them come up. And this one I got really cheap. I think the person had it as like a $500 buy it now. Um, I think this would go for $1,200 plus all day. I think even possibly more because you just cannot find these. Obviously, Reggie White's passed away. So to find examples of his rookie card slabbed is a win. Um, but yeah, I kind of put this in that 1200 plus range. Could definitely even be more. Uh, moving along, uh, down to number 14 on the list, everybody. So we're getting there. Here's a 1950 Bowman Tony Canadeo rookie card. He's one of the six Packers with their number retired. If you're wondering who he is, he was a running back in the 40s and 50s. Uh, this one's graded an 8.5. I think there are seven graded higher, something like that. Uh, no 10s, but this is a really nice, high-quality example of the card. Kind of put this one in that $1,500 range. Um, but when I purchased it, I actually paid quite a bit. Uh, purchased it from an auction house. Paid, uh, I think, around two grand for it. So this one's actually come down a little bit. Because um, there have been a few 9s graded since then. So that's kind of actually brought the value of the 8.5s down a little bit. So so it has dropped a little bit. I put it in kind of that $1,500 range, though. Still a beautiful card. Happy to have it. You win some, you lose some. Um, moving up the list here to number 13. It's the Aaron Rodgers Chrome Rookie. I showed you a PSA 10 version earlier. This is a BGS 10 version, pristine. Uh, only pop 10. I, think, I only think there are 10 of these graded uh, pristine 10 by BGS. And... Um, this card here, I got it pretty darn cheap uh, on an auction. This was many, like probably five plus years ago, and it was a late ending auction, and it was on like a weekend, I think, like on a Sunday, Sunday night, and it was around the holidays, and I think I swear I was the only person up bidding on this card because it went to me for like three hundred bucks, and obviously that's pretty ridiculous if uh, you look at it now. They definitely put like a value on this of at least fifteen hundred plus. Just because uh, the pops, the pop of uh, BGS 10 Pristine is so low. And the, check out the centering on this. Absolutely beautiful. You don't find them centered like this. Even my PSA version I showed earlier was not quite this nicely centered. And they only gave it a 9.5 for centering. But I I don't know. I think this I think this was probably graded before black labels came out. But I, I'd have to think that this is pretty close to 10 centering. Just a beautiful card right there. Um, and then moving up. Uh, we're going to do number tw uh, 12 on the list. The 1948 Bowman Buford Ray. Um, a lot of you guys maybe never heard of this card, but it is a huge card for Packer collectors. Uh, it's the last card, number 108 in the 48 Bowman set, which uh, this card is a short print anyways. Uh, but <laughs> these cards were, where they were on the sheet, were completely cut off centered, you know, 98% of the time. So to, f to find one in, you know, a 7 grade, there's a little scuff right there. That's probably what brought it down to a 7. And the centering is not that great either. So um, it's not like the biggest eye appeal 7 either. But he beggars can't be choosers with this card. You just don't see him come up. This is just a, a wonderful looking card. Happy to have that one. And if you're wondering what they go for, um, I want to say I picked this up for about 1500 bucks a couple years back. Um, I'd put a value of about 1700 on it now. Um, I think they've gone up a little bit and they just don't sell. They don't they don't come for sale. So super happy to have this one. I think only like three sevens have sold in the last like eight years. So just a rare card. Um, and then number 11 on the list, the 39 Playball Ted Williams, a card I got in earlier this year. Uh, just a beautiful card right here. Uh, got this from a friend of mine, Kurt and graded a two um, he gave me a really good deal on it uh, if i had to put a price on it i'd say 1700 is kind of what they go for in this particular grade just a beautiful looking card there all, all right everybody so let's get into the top 10 cards in my collection so we're going to start out with a couple modern cards here um, here's a 2010 Bowman Chrome autograph of Christian Yelich. 
can see the quad nine fives up there. I guess people in the BGS business call that tr uh, true gem. And pick <laughs> pick this card up. I remember specifically uh, earlier last year picked it up for a hundred and twenty dollars, and I think it was even on an eBay bucks deal. And right now this card sells. If I sold it today, it'd probably sell in that seventeen hundred and fifty dollar range. That's kind of what they're at right now. So this would be an example of a win. So absolutely love that Christian Yelich Refractor card. All right, number nine on the list. 2013 Prism Auto of Giannis Atetokounmpo. And here's another example. I think I picked this card up in that $300 range. Sells for about $1,800 now in this grade. Um, the auto looks really nice on the sticker too. Uh, some of them are a little written a little light, a little streaky. Um, and he, you can see he has his full name on there, actually, so that's pretty neat. Uh, but again, uh, big win on this card. This is number nine on the list. And it's in that eight, about $1,800 range. All right, let's go to number eight on the list. Another vintage Packers rookie. 61 tops, Henry Jordan, or Hank Jordan rookie card. Uh, again, just a beautiful example. I love the 61 top set. How beautiful and vivid the colors are. I mean, just a really nice looking card there. And this card I'd put in that $1,900 range. But, it, you know, it kind of sells anywhere in that $1,800 to $2,000 range. Um, I think this is only Pop 8, again. No 10s graded. So, one of the top examples that you're going to see. Beautiful looking card. And moving down the list, we are now on number seven. Got the uh, 57 tops, Paul Horning rookie card. Just a beautiful example of the card there. Um, graded an eight. Uh, this card in this grade goes for about 2300 Now, when I purchased this card, I think I paid a little bit more for it. Um, kind of goes in that. I think I paid a, closer to $2,900 for it, so it's come down a little bit. I feel like there's been quite a few more that have come to market for whatever reason. This card's kind of been on the move, so um, a little bit of market saturation has caused a little bit of a price drop. So just a beautiful example of the card there. Created an 8. Uh, number 6 on the list, a card that was on my bucket list for a long time. This is the uh, 1954 Tops Hank Aaron rookie card. And just a beautiful example of the card. This one's graded a 5, but the centering and the color just can't beat it. Just an outstanding example of the card. Um, card in this condition with this centering, I appeal, etc. Probably put in that $2,900 range. So, just love that card there. Beautiful card. All right. Now we're getting into the top five. Number five on the list. 1935 National Chickle Clark Hinkle rookie card. And this is an old label. Um, still graded an eight. Beautiful looking, looking card there. Um, wow, just, I'm just so happy, so happy with this card. Um, Clark Hinkle was a do-it-all. He kicked, he played defense, played offense, a tough-nosed player in the 30s. And um, you can get this card in the grade of an 8 for about uh, $3,000. That's kind of the range that they go in. And just a gorgeous card. What else can you say about it? A card from 1935. It's a pretty nice example. Uh, I believe the pop on this is 18. There's two graded higher. I feel like the pop has been at 18 on this for, you know, the last number of years, the last decade. Um, not a lot of these come up for grading. So that's number five on the list. Number four, a card I got in not that long ago, the 05 Topps Chrome Refractor, Aaron Rodgers Black rookie card. And these are numbered out of 100. See it right by my thumb there. And... Just a great, great card. Um, obviously, there's 
only 100 ever made, and um, I think 13 have graded a PSA 9. There are no 10s that have ever graded. And um, for this particular card, this is going to kind of go in that $4,000 range. So one of the better cards in my collection for sure. Maybe it even has a little room to go up. Kind of depends on a few things. Another Super Bowl maybe. But gorgeous card right there. Happy to have it in my collection. Number three on the list. The uh, 1935 National Chickle Chester Johnston. And nickname of Swede Johnston. Just a beautiful card right there. I mean, they have this kind of eye appeal from 1935 is pretty crazy. Uh, you can see the Marquette banner in the background there. Um, and so the deal with this card is it's hard to find anyways because... Uh, as you can see the numbering on top there, it's number 32. Cards number 25 through 36. Uh, it's only a 36 card set, the 1935 Chickle set. So the last 12 cards in the set are all short prints, so they're tough to find anyways. And certainly hard to find in high grade. Um, I'd put this one in that $4,000 range as well. So just beautiful card right there. One of the hardest cards to find in high grade uh, if you're doing any of the vintage Packers sets. That, this, this and the Buford Ray that I showed earlier are your two toughest. And then the Hinkle, too, obviously, would be pretty tough. Um, so now we're getting up to the no, top two cards in the collection here. Here's number two, the 57 Tops Bart Star rookie card. And this was my white whale for the longest time. I definitely had to save up for this one. It kind of goes in that seven to $8,000 range. Um, for a while there, during that price bubble <laughs> it kind of got up into that nine nine ten thousand dollar range and at the time i was thinking man i'm not going to be able to get this card it's going to get too high um and then it kind of came back down to earth a little bit and i picked this up this one up for just under seven i want to say so super happy with the card just a beautiful example and one of the most iconic packer cards you can have so again kind of in that seven to eight thousand dollar range in psa eight um, some of it depends on the centering. This one is pretty nicely centered, not perfectly centered, but nice enough for me. Um, and there are three nines graded, uh, no tens ever graded. So eight is about as good as any Packer fan can do. <laughs> Just a gorgeous card there. So happy to have it in my collection. And then we're going to get to the number one card in my collection. Um, some of you have seen this card, maybe some of you haven't. But it is a Packers rookie card. It is the 1959 Tops Jerry Kramer rookie card, and I have this one in the grade of a 10. Uh, there's only been two 10s ever graded, and just a, again, great example of the card right there. Um, when I purchased the card, I actually purchased it for what I thought was a fair price. I think I paid about four four thousand for it at the time, and um, that was before he was inducted into the Hall of Fame. So. Uh, there were many people that had kind of written him off for the Hall of Fame, so you knew when you were buying that rookie card, you know, a lot of Packer fans respected him as a player, but you knew he was never a Hall of Fame, going to be a Hall of Famer, or at least some people thought that, and so they never wanted to mess with it because they didn't think it would ever go to a Hall of Fame set, which, as you know, can definitely elevate the price of a card. And then, so once you know it, uh, two years later, after I purchased the card, uh, he was up for nomination and finally got his way into the Hall of Fame. So with that, um, with that, that actually brought the other other card to market to sell, and that card sold about twelve thousand at the time. So I kind of put, and and that card sold around. Yeah, actually, I think that card sold before he was in the Hall of Fame. So, so that was a twelve thousand dollar sale before he was in the Hall of Fame. So what could it go for now? I have no idea. Who knows what it could go for? Um, but I guess I would put a conservative estimate on it of 15000 plus um, to the right seller. Um, could even go for more. Wouldn't surprise me if it went 20 or more. Um, it just, um, but a conservative estimate would be 15 plus um, just based on the Hall of Fame status at this point. So just an awesome example of the card. And definitely the uh, most valuable card in my collection. So... Well, that's it, everybody. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, I've been meaning to do one of these videos for a long time. I think I did a top 10 uh, Packer rookie card video uh, that was back like a couple of years ago, I want to say. You have to dig through my archives to find that one. 
but a lot has changed with my collection since then, as, <laughs> as you can tell. So I hope some of the um, values I gave you were informative. Um, I think it's all pretty up to date as far as all the values um, based on recent auction sales and whatnot. So um, hope you enjoyed ev everything. Hope you enjoyed hanging out, looking at some cards with me. And um, now you guys have a little bit of a glimpse of Scani Traditions collection. Um, obviously very vintage heavy, very Packers heavy, um, especially for the higher uh, the higher end cards. And with a, I think a nice mix of baseball, basketball mixed in there as well so hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you guys think if you have any questions and um we'll talk to you all soon thanks for watching